Okay. Everybody ready? ready? Let's talk about the scrimmage a little bit. What did you think out there? Oh, it was fun to get back in the stadium, uh, kind of get more live game situation. Coaches not, like in practice, coaches are behind us, yelling at us. They kind of was just letting us play today, letting us feel how it's going to be uh, when we play NC State. It felt good to be back in the stadium. Defense looks like it's a little ahead of the offense. Did you feel that way? I do. I did. I feel the same way. I'm biased, but that's what I'm always <laughs> going to say that. A few weeks in the camp, what do you feel like the defense is overall right now, third year in the system? I feel like we're all playing fast, especially the, uh, the people who's been here since we started, since uh, Coach Harold came in. But we're playing a lot faster, fitting things up. We're able to now make tweaks because we know what the base is. So that's really – and we're also – because we know it, we're, we're able to bring along the new guys, and they're learning a lot faster too. How difficult is it to play in scrimmages like this against your own guys where, you, you know, you got to go 100, but you don't want to go to 200? <laughs> I mean, I get what you're saying, but we all, we're all brothers, and we all have an understanding of – we all know how to play football, so we have an understanding of when not to – like not trying not to kill each other, but also getting getting done what we need to get done. You've been repping more at safety this offseason compared to maybe Sam. What was that transition been like, and do you still feel comfortable at both spots? Um, I do feel comfortable at both spots. The transition has been good because – I feel more natural at safety because that's what I played all throughout high school, and I also played that Coach Houston's first year. I played in the boundary, so it's it's been I've been comfortable. It was just when I started playing safety in the spring, it was a, a different learn like learning. It was it was a lot to learn, but now I'm, I'm good. Now I'm playing a lot faster, faster now. Talked to Gerard last week about maybe y'all getting on the field at the same time because y'all played opposite the same position last year. What do you think that'll be like? I think going back, I think it's gonna be a hard time for a lot of offenses if we're both on the field at the same time. Y'all have a pretty good relationship. Oh, yes, sir. He, he, we came in together. We've been close friends ever since. What's it been like for you to see him get back to 100% full go with the group? Oh, yeah, I'm I'm happy for him. Uh, the way he had to come back from his Achilles last year, and then when he came back, he was out for the first couple games with a concussion. So I'm just proud of how he's bounced back. I, I, I expected it. I don't think a lot of people did, though, but I, I expected it from him. Y'all are a couple weeks into camp now. Can you almost like feel the finish line in sight as far as the season over? Or is it still just kind of a daily grind? It's still a daily grind. We try not to look too far ahead. So it's more. It's been a daily grind. And also, I, we started camp a little earlier this week, so it's been it's been a long stretch. One more week left though, so we good. What young guys have stood out to you so far? On the defense. Yeah. On the, yeah. On the defense. Um, I say JD. So, uh, Ty Moss stood out a lot in practice, uh, a third year safety. He hasn't played, he's a, a wrestler, but he's he's uh, stood out a lot. We got, we got some new guys in the linebacker spot, like uh, Chance, he stood out. Uh, IB, IBM, uh, Isaiah Brown Murray, the corner, the new corner, he came came in the spring, he stood out a lot to me too. I'll say those three or four, how many I said. All right, thanks, thanks, man. Thank you. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man.